Hey guys, Matt here, and what you are just looking at is an experimental new infill pattern called gyroid. Now this all started about a year ago when MIT researchers discovered that this structure has some really interesting strength properties, in that it can be really strong without using much material. Now they were working with graphene, but they discovered that these benefits also apply to other materials like plastic. So naturally this sounds ideal to use as a 3D printing infill, and some of the developers at Slicer started working on it. And now it's still in the experimental stage, but we do have functional code that generates gyroid infill, which is really great. Now I can see two main benefits for this. Uh, firstly, just as an infill with superior strength, which I'll be testing in one of my next videos. I'm actually going to be doing some strength tests with a force gauge. But secondly, just for its artistic value, um, I printed these and also this one just uh, the infill with no perimeters just to show through the pattern and it looks really really nice um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, where the innovation goes with using this infill artistically now with this vase I printed the process to get it to print with part solid and part infill is actually quite interesting so I'll be doing another video on that about how I designed it and how I sliced it as well now here I printed these little test squares at 10, 15 and 20% infill and I just printed it with no top or bottom layers and one perimeter just so you can see the pattern show through. Now this next model that I printed is just a standard gyroid structure. I didn't use the infill feature in the slicing software, it's just a normal model. But I just printed it to look at the pattern and see how it works, it's really interesting to look at. Uh, the next one is just a cylinder that I'm planning on using as a lampshade. Uh, but I printed this at 20% uh, infill density and with no perimeters so that the pattern shows through. And it's got some really interesting optical effects where if you look at it from different angles it'll either block out the light or let it through. And this next one was just a box. Uh, I think I printed this at 15% infill, again with no perimeters. Um, I did a couple of bottom layers just to make sure it's stuck properly, but that also looks really really cool. So definitely stay tuned, I'll be doing a lot more experimentation with this for sure. Um, I've put a link in the description for the experimental version of Slicer for Windows uh, with the gyroid infill option enabled, so go crazy with that. I'm looking forward to seeing what all you guys do. Um, hopefully soon enough it'll be put into an official release. So that's all for today's video guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, bye.